In this video, I will compare and contrast theocratic and democratic government and meanings of some of the terms, including how to respond to the question using standard English. Without any further delay, let's get straight to the assignment. Yes, that is correct. English 1503, assignment 1 of semester 2, 2020. Short paragraph question 2, which states, compare and contrast a theocratic government with a democratic government. So basically, you and I are going to be looking at those command words and ask questions, of course. What are they? What do they mean? And what's expected of us? So we're going to compare and contrast theocratic and democratic government. What is actually to compare? So I'm going to go through these uh, command words and just to be very, very clear what we are talking about and what we need to be doing for this task so that we can maximize our marks. So what is to compare? To compare is to examine how things are similar. That is, to look closely and identify likeness between things or between them. What is to contrast? To contrast is to show obvious difference or how things differ. So how do you compare and contrast a theocratic and democratic government in less than 100 words? Amazing. So what you need to do here is to use a simple structure which is going to basically allow you to put in as many words that are to the task or rather answering this task as possible without deviating. You use what we call a point by point structure. So each time you write a similarity that will be followed by or immediately followed by a difference. Don't worry about that. We, we will talk about that and I'll show you how to go about doing that and show you an example. But before we proceed, I thought we should, we could and we should look at um, what sort of connectives you know, go along with um, comparing. What words would we use that are most appropriate for comparing? So I've compiled a short list. Similarly, likewise, also, just like, neither nor. And if you want to contrast, you would use words such as or connectives such as however, in contrast, by comparison, on the other hand, whereas, but, while, so on and so forth. I'm back again, amazing people. So I've kind of um, tinkered with some Venn diagram to show you the difference. On the left-hand side, as you can see, this is a theocratic government, and these are the features. I say um, some of this information comes from a dictionary, by the way, guys. Okay, so theocratic government is a government by priests. That is government run by members of the clergy. All right. Normally members are chosen. They are not voted into this. Okay. There is no majority rule. The legal system is based on religious law or laws. And there are a few examples of such countries that still practice this form of government. You've got Iran, the Vatican, or you can even say Vatican stroke Italy and Saudi Arabia. There are a few that do that, but I just gave you about three examples there. And on the right hand side, we have the democratic government. A democratic government is a government by the people. That is the rule of people is maintained. It's all about fundamental human rights being preserved. Members are voted in. Of course, 
is the majority rule, the will of the people. Two examples there, United States and Canada. So in my final slide, which is going to look at how I put together all the information I gave you on comparing and contrasting and bringing these features of theocratic government and democratic government into a little punchy 100 word short paragraph let's see how that works right this is our last slide here on this question this is the the meaty bit of the assignment actually so as you can see i really wanted to put something together that you know would show you how i built up to this point how i planned this assignment question and its answer to this point and how i actually used those words to tell my story in this short paragraph of comparing theocratic government to the democratic government it's not a perfect answer it's just a model answer right on the surface of it or on the surface it appears all government representatives are elected into office by the people the grand ayatollah in iran is a case in point where religious leaders make binding decisions in government all power in government is vested in the hands of one supreme leader in office in contrast in a democracy in a democracy like the usa a government is voted in and out of power through the ballot minority opinion is safeguarded and valued unlike in the case of theocratic ruling system though the two systems may be dissimilar likewise italy as a theocracy in proxy promotes the democratic ruling system i managed to do that guys in 99 words It's not cast in stone you can still it can still be tweaked but it is a an example of what you could actually write to answer the question you can even better this i mean obviously it's free to edit if i were to edit that but you need to produce your own answer anyway so at the bottom there as you can see i say free to use as guide not final answer so do not go and copy this and go, yay, I've got the answer now, I don't have to worry. You'll be put down for plagiarism. You don't really want that. Okay, so I hope this helps, guys. Thank you for watching. And be sure to subscribe. And my next video will be out soon on question three.